And nigga, be real to yourself before you real with anybody else. Hey, gang, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal, man? It's y'all favorite hood partner, Big Nina Boy, man. And listen, man, hey, catch it though, man. Um, seem like Paul P, man, uh, sound like he got something to say again. <laughs> hey, listen, man, um, you know, it's crazy because, um, you know, I, 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 I see you, uh, little Paul P, man. I see you, I'm, I, I definitely see you, but, uh, yeah, man, I'm about to write on your brain like bought up homework today, gang. Like, this is, to me, this shit is peanuts to an elephant, bro. This back and forth is peanuts to an elephant. You understand me? Listen, catch this game, though. Um, you know, um, take accountability. My nigga, you absolutely is dick pulling. You you basically saying that nothing in some podcast is, pre is success is predicated off of Cowboy. I ain't never seen another man. Hey, listen, real men don't be dick, dick pulling. You see what I'm saying, nigga? And, and, and this is some game for the Bluetooth. You understand what I'm saying, nigga? You're dick pulling at this point. Take accountability, my nigga. You cannot, that you can't grow no platform by yourself. That's the only thing that I take from what you're saying. Every time you, you know, you, you try to rebuttal, uh, the world been smelling what I'm selling, homie. Um, so we not go. I'm not going to push this accolade shit. I notice every time you pop this shit like fish grease, my nigga, you try to pop this shit as if, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you the best who ever did this shit. Hey, nobody come to see you, Otis. Nobody came to see you, Otis. <laughs> you understand me? Listen, when you do your own segments, bro, it don't pull no numbers, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? So, and I... I, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it Fendi with you, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it Fendi with you. Like, hey, you protecting you protecting uh, your big homie. You see what I'm saying? You ain't know this nigga from Adam and Eve. <laughs> I'm, you know that I know, bro. If it wasn't for the Nipsey Hustle story, my nigga, you would not be dick pulling. You see what I'm saying? This nigga who took the stand. You see what I'm saying? Number one, we go. X that out. Number two, a high risk offender. S offender. My nigga, just admit it, homie. You just, hey, some niggas got this shit, gang, and some people don't got it. And, and best believe, bro, I told you, like, your podcast got something going on that's good over there. But if you can't hold down your own platform by yourself, bro, then, hey, you, hey, 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 stop wasting time. Because that's all you got. It's, that sound like a one-trick pony. You smell what I'm selling, nigga? Like, I, I, now I'm looking at this shit like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was thinking like just looking at your uh your last little interview, bro. And it's like, Cowboy is Ayana. You see what I'm saying? From from uh Men's to Society. You know what I'm saying? When you like, hey, which one of y'all is Kane? You know what I'm saying? Kane, like, who asking? He like, <laughs> A friend, you know what I'm saying, nigga. Like, um, oh uh, homie, Kane, like, oh homie, I don't think you think you know me. You're like, hey, check this out. Um, I'm Aaliyah's cousin. You see what I'm saying? And she don't like the way you dogging her. I don't, I don't know either. You know what I'm saying? And Kane, get off on that nigga. Like, <laughs> so what we supposed to fight over a bitch? You're like, hey, I don't think. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, bro, you just don't get it, bro. Like, you dick pulling at this point, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like. Nigga, like if, if, if we was in jail, nigga, motherfucking um um um, what's what's Bernie Mac be like? You gonna eat that cornbread? <laughs> Cowboy gonna be like, nah, motherfucker, you can't eat my motherfucking cornbread. Hey, listen, bro, I watch you even try to talk like, like your last life, some shit that Cowboy be saying, like no, nah, no, nah, God, like, like how he talk, quit playing with me, God, nigga, you imitating him to the fullest, bro. You are a super fan. <laughs> like, 
I want to see you win. Cause like I say, man, I ain't gonna just bing, bow, boom, beat you up and not lift you up. You understand me? I'm gonna keep it Fendi, bro. I've been toying with you, nigga. You a toy to me. You see what I'm saying? I'm toying you. Like this back and forth, you can't fuck with me with this platform shit, nigga. It's some niggas got this shit and some niggas don't got it. And, and best believe, you know, let me give you some news you can use. Start putting out content by yourself, bro, so you don't have to depend on Cowboy. And it's just some game for the Bluetooth, bro. Like, you can take it how you want to. Like, you know, this is just, we sparring right now. You see what I'm saying? And right now, bro, you're not fucking with me when it comes to this back and forth shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, hey, nigga, want it? You go get it. <laughs> hey, nephew, lock that motherfucker. <laughs> you know you done fucked up now, right? Hey, listen to me. You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> At this moment, he realized he fucked up. Nah, man, you know, like, it's just crazy because you know what What Paul P remind me of? He remind me of Trey on, men, on Boys in the Hood. <laughs> he remind me of Trey. <laughs> hey, dope boy. Hey, let me out. He like, what? He like, yo, let me out. <laughs> Go run to motherfucking near Long House and shit. And she like, Trey, like, I'm telling you shit. I'm telling you. Come on, motherfucker. I'm telling you. Black on black <laughs> You're a Trey with the same high top, bro. <laughs> that same little, that, that Steve Harvey high tower little. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's you, bro. That's you all the way. But anyway. Let's jump into this reaction. You know, I had to get it cracking. You know, and coming out the game with the work. But um, nah, man. Let's check out this nigga. Uh, his his newest uh segment. Let's go. Absolutely no, that's false. I gotta give you one, two, and three of these just for thinking that when it comes down to somebody like me who came here and built all of this, an individual that have four businesses running. You see what was built here. My name everywhere. You think that? Hey, y'all know this? Um, hey, listen, gang. Let me keep, hey. Hey, catch it, though. Anybody that got to constantly brag about what they have, bro, it's it's cool to say, you know, I'm doing good in life. You know, I, my area code is different now. You know what I'm saying? Like on some Jefferson shit, nigga moving on up. But this nigga goes so verbatim, bro, like, I'm pissing out Remy on niggas all year, my nigga. So all that bragging shit you doing, okay, cool. You, you're talking about your businesses and you insecure, bro. Like, I, 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 hey, listen, bro. I got you. I, hey, hey, I got that nigga. I got that nigga in his feelings. <laughs> Let the church say amen. <laughs> no, nah, listen, bro. Um, Nobody give a fuck about what you got to accomplish, bro. Like this. Hey, listen, my nigga. I'm a street nigga. You was raised on the sidewalk. I was raised in the streets. So it's not no comparison, bro. Like, stop trying to put your manhood out there and try to be like, can't nobody tell me nothing. You prove you showing the world how much of an impact that cowboy got on you, gang. Cowboy is so has so much influence on you that he's making decisions on what can air on your platform. You brag about that shit all in your name. But he telling you, don't let them clowns come to our podcast. The nigga used the R word, not the your word, <laughs> but the R. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this nigga, man. And we gonna call this nigga Paul P. Trey. Go ahead, Trey. I'm gonna let you finish what you gotta say. <laughs> Let's get it. That individual got someone running their program. See that to me? Show me that, man. We 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 got a lot to learn in our community. We got a lot to learn when it comes down to our culture. Let me tell you this, brother. It's smart what I'm doing. Very smart. It have nothing to do with running any type of program. The only one that run this program besides myself is God. God first, I'm second. Right. That's it. Right. I always stand on that. But nobody's coming here running nothing, and nobody have ran nothing. Now, do people work? For the podcast, or or, or 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 partner up with me to get this to 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 grow and build. Of course, you need a team to make things grow. And when it comes down to your team voicing their opinion about stuff, you gotta listen. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a team. Now, you want me to be here by myself? Where I'm over there flipping? 
Look how this nigga sound, girl. So you want me to be here by myself? I'm flipping through my fucking channels trying to figure myself out. <laughs> Look at this. Paul, hey, hey, P. Hey, hey, catch this. Hey, catch this game down, nigga. Catch it though. You done fucked up, bro. You showing the world exactly who you are. Nigga, it, it, we see straight through you. Hey, my nigga, you shouldn't even be that worked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm Big Nina boy. I know I'm one of them niggas. I, yeah, I'm a member for sure. And I'm definitely one of them niggas, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? And I thought this was cool. This little, you know what I'm saying? This little verbal spar on a nigga one time. Showing that this old hood nigga still got it, though. <laughs> I'm writing on this nigga brain like balled up homework, nigga. <laughs> nigga, hey, I'm serving this nigga papers. Ah, here, come get that paper, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but listen, bro. You talk about yourself. You keep making it about cowboy at this point, bro. You already established that that's your team, or no, that's your partner. Because he said ours. He didn't say yours. So that's your partner, bro. You see what I'm saying? I proved yesterday that you was lying. You lying right now. Uh, cowgirl told you, don't put that type of content on our platform, gang. Like, you, man, you a sucker, bro. He bullying you out of your platform and you don't even see it, my nigga. Nigga, that nigga, I would, that's on my heartbeat, bro. I wish a nigga would say our platform, nigga, knowing that nigga, nigga, this, First of all, this is this is a job, bro. Like you pay taxes on this motherfucking platform. How the fuck can you let another man tell you on our platform? That's some goofy shit, bro. That's why I said take that motherfucking rag off, nigga. I know it's sweating under that motherfucker, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I'm, nigga, you got that sweat under that bandana, nigga. You got them shades on, cause you know Nina boy cooking shit. Yeah, nigga, I'm cooking shit, nigga. Told you, nigga, my words is like an x-ray, nigga. That shit just shoot straight through you. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't fuck with me with this. I'm a real live nigga. Man, I'm a joint. Quit playing, bro. Like, you talking about nothing. Let's get it. But on the camera, I don't even got Francis here with me. I'm here by myself, flipping it off, flipping it off. You want me to do that? Okay, then I'm not going to ever listen to nothing nobody ought to say. And, every, and, and I'm just going to really be over here running my own program. Is that what y'all want? Yes, run your own program. I, I believe that's what people want. Y'all want me. If this nigga say, is that what y'all want? This nigga saying, run my own program. So you telling the world, gang, I, I'm, I'm going to bust this shit down like a Kit Kat. You see how I'm dissecting this nigga? Everything he's saying, bar for bar, I'm busting at him. Like, you're like So y'all want me to be over here running my own platform? Like, you can't do it by yourself, bro. So what that tell you? You're not a leader. That tells you that you're a follower and you have a, a platform that you're using people's stories to become successful because you can't become successful without using other people's stories. Come on, gang. Like, I see through limo, Tim, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Um, but shout out to the people that's up in this motherfucking building, man. You know, y'all come to watch Nina Boy pop this shit. And I knew I had to come back to motherfucking YouTube, man. And like I said, man, hey, get in on Nina Boy bussing. <laughs> Shots fired at Paul P. <laughs> Damn, son, where you find this one? Like, yeah, gang, you can't, you got to understand, man. Like, you got to really have that, that charisma, bro. You got to have charisma, gang. Like, you, I'm not seeing no charisma. I'm watching you act like a, a man child. <laughs> That's what, I'm going to run it back, man. Like, your body language, bro. It's the body language, homie. Let's get it. It sounds like he's crying a little bit. It's smart what I'm doing. Very smart. It have nothing to do with running any type of program. The only one that run this program besides myself is God. God first, I'm second. That's it. I always stand on that. But nobody's coming here running nothing, and nobody have ran nothing. Now, do people work? For the podcast, or or, or 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 partner up with me to get this to 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 grow and build. Of course, you need a team to make things grow. And when it comes down to your team voicing their opinion about stuff, you gotta listen. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a team. Now, you want me to be here by myself, where I'm over there flipping on the camera. I don't even got Francis here with me. I'm here by myself, flipping it off, flipping it off. You look at the body language, gang. 
Look at. Hold on, hold on, okay. Hold on. You can learn from me, bro. You can learn from me. It's not even that deep. <laughs> this shit, bro. I just dis hey, listen, man. This is called the art of war, RP. Just so, just so you can really pick up what I'm writing down. I need you to pick up what I'm writing down. This, I told you, bro. This was nothing but a man. Hey, this is chess. I think you undermining me, gang. You, you said is Nina. Are you smart, Nina boy? You, you're dumb. You all this weird shit you saying, but. I've been serving your papers, bro. You have not said anything that I, I first of all, I've been chopping you down, catching you up in your lies, you contradicting yourself. You just ain't. I need you to be real, bro. And, and you showing me who you really are. You showing the world who you really are. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, a real man go take accountability, homie. And what you're saying is that you need cowboy. You didn't know this man from Adam and Eve till he came on your platform with the Nipsey stories and you fell in love. You took you fell in love and that's coochie gang. But listen, you took to them stories like water to a fish. You took to them Nipsey hustle stories like water to a fish. I, you infatuated with gang culture. You see what I'm saying? If you was that infatuated, bro, you should have just jumped off the curve, nigga, and got in the streets, bro. Because all you do is politic, my nigga. You po well, you act like everything that you're doing is so prolific over there that it's all positivity, man. You, you, y'all talking about y'all talking about this man's S offender charges. You see what I'm saying? A nigga tell you, oh, I snatched a chain off a grown woman and they gave me a high risk S offender charge. And now I'm on Megan's Law. Come on, gang. You can't tell me you ain't sell your soul up, my nigga. You know. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck what, what you do with your life and your world, but you got to stand on something because if you don't stand on something, homie, you will fall for anything. You smell it when I'm selling down, nigga? You will fall for anything. Don't you ever let somebody tell you something, nigga, and, and you work so hard. My thing is this. I'm just trying to show you how to be a leader. You worked hard for that platform. Don't you ever let somebody say that that's your platform, bro. I'm telling you verbatim, my nigga. The man is saying that is your platform. He's like, yeah, don't let them dudes on our platform. I'm a self-made nigga. I, I didn't get to uh, almost 100,000 nigga with no motherfucking podcast. I did this shit on my own, nigga. I've been getting this shit cracking. I, that's why I say, like, regardless of what you say, bro, the, the streets don't lie. Like, people see, like, damn, like, your channel is cool. But who is Paul P for real? They don't probably really know you, bro, because you so busy trying to catch these Nipsey Hustle stories and, 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 and slide behind Cowboy Tail that you forgot about the core factor is that's your podcast. Nigga, that ain't nobody's responsibility to turn that motherfucking channel up but you. But you keep hollering about like you need somebody to turn up your channel. So that's why I said, man, I, you got a good thing going over there. I'm not going to just beat you up verbally and not give you some words of encouragement yeah i'm a real older east side nigga you see what i'm saying like yeah i'm an east side nigga bro and, and, and at my age you would think you know what i'm saying since you wanted to do this toe to toe this verbal toe to toe my nigga you know what i'm saying this shit is small fries to a big mac you smell it like this shit is small fries to a big mac nigga you, you know what i'm saying like, come on man like man I'm, I'm 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 one of them you see what i'm saying i'm a one not a two bro i'm a one not a two I don't need no, 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 no interviewer. I could do that shit and do what I do, bro. Like I'm the best at what I do. And that's why people fuck with Big Nino Boy. And I'm specifically just giving you some game, bro. So, you know, get about your feelings, bro. You and your feelings for real. Let's get it. You want me to do that? Okay, then I'm not gonna ever listen to nothing nobody ought to say. And every and, and I'm just gonna really be over here running my own program. Hey, man, I'm over here. Hold on. Is that what y'all want? Watch this. Hold on. That is, I, I believe that's what people want. Look how y'all want me really running my own program. I'm not even listening. Show me that, man. We look how he acting, bro. Hey, look how this man is acting, y'all. Real shit. Look how he's acting. Like Dick Paul P crashed out, bro. Paul P crashed out. This nigga crashed out, gang. Look how he the nigga acting uh image like a, a man child. 
Watch how he jump in and see. Let's get it. We, we got a lot to learn in our community. We got a lot to learn when it comes down to our culture. Let me tell you this, brother. It's smart what I'm doing. Very smart. It have nothing to do with running any type of program. The only one that run this program besides myself is God. God first, I'm second. That's it. I always stand on that. But nobody's coming here running nothing, and nobody have ran nothing. Now, do people work for the podcast or are? Man, I ain't even gonna play that other video. Let's go. Or 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 partner up with me to get this to 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 grow and build. Of course, you need a team to make things grow. And when it comes down to your team voicing their opinion about stuff, you gotta listen. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a team. Now, you want me to be here by myself where I'm over there flipping on the camera? I don't even got Francis here with me. I'm here by myself flipping it off, flipping it off. You want me to do that? Okay, then I'm not going to ever listen to nothing. Look how he sw look, look at the veins in his neck, gang. Look at the nigga, how he throw his head. Look how he throw his head. Look, watch this. But nobody's coming here running nothing, and nobody have ran nothing. Now, do people work? For the podcast, or or, or 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 partner up with me to get this to 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 grow and build. Of course, you need a team to make things grow. And when it comes down to your team voicing their opinion about stuff, you gotta listen. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a team. Now, you want me to be here by myself, where I'm over there flipping on the camera. I don't even got Francis here with me. I'm here by myself flipping it off, flipping it off. You want me to do that? Okay, then I'm not gonna ever listen to nothing nobody <laughs> ought to say. And every and, and I'm just gonna really be over here running my own program. Is that what y'all want? That is, is I, I believe that's what people want. Y'all want me really running my own program. I'm not even listening to nobody. Now, hey, hey, chat. If y'all would like to see this man run his. Hey, so look, this, this is what it is, Paul P, bro. Like, you now, you know, nigga got a little bro you at this point. You see what I'm saying? Like, you need some real guidance, bro. Like, yes, my nigga, we would like to see you run your own program. It's that simple, bro. What you showing us on these platforms, bro, is that you cannot make it without Cowboy and or without your interviews. You see what I'm saying? Like, step your confidence game up, bro. Like, you, you really got to step it up, bro, because this Internet shit, it will eat you up, bro. So you kind of hiding behind your interviewers. You see what I'm saying? Like, you want to ask the questions behind the scenes. All right, cool. It's, it's suave. It's all suave. But at the same time, bro, what you're saying right now, it ain't masculine, bro. It ain't masculine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a leader. You a black man. You see what I'm saying? Stand up, nigga. Grab your motherfucking nuts, nigga. Grab your motherfucking nuts. Let us know this your platform. You said, but y'all want me to run my own platform? I ain't gonna listen to nobody else. <laughs> nigga, like, uh, motherfucking Trey. Uh, Neil Long, like, Trey. Like, shit. shit. You want to fight me, motherfucker? Come on! Come on! <laughs> like, cuz, grab your motherfucking nuts, nigga. I don't ever want to hear you talk about, you know, you need somebody else to run your platform, bro. It's, it's, it's a dishonor, you know what I'm saying, for niggas who really grind. I started from ground zero with my channel, bro. You see what I'm saying? And, of course, everybody know if I didn't take the break, I would be at 100K right now, bro. I was doing... 100,000 every uh, 48 hours or more than that. You see what I'm saying? Every 48 hours, I was pulling over 100 and some thousand. So, you know, I take this shit serious, bro. But I think this this was this was, this was was well needed. You know what I'm saying? I'm popping my shit on this motherfucker. But it's all, it's all Fendi, bro. This, this is your first YouTube spar with a nigga. A nigga who been popping on YouTube. Everybody, give it up for Paul P, man. He tried, he tried, cuz tried, you know what I'm saying? But don't you ever in your motherfucking life start moving your body like that, shaking your head like that, and, and, and complaining about you taking control over your own platform, bro. Like, come on, my nigga, that ain't, that ain't Fendi. I know he's going to be looking at this interview like, fuck, this nigga right, this shit look bad. <laughs> this looks bad, bro. I don't know what possessed you to, I thought you, you may thought you was, Having confidence saying what you were saying, but it's no confidence in what you're saying, bro. All that shit, nigga, your, your blood vein is about to pop out the side of your neck, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, um, this was 
this was a this was a dope spar. This was a dope spar. This ain't no beef, nigga. I shot you, you shot back. I shot you, you shot back. I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's only two type of people on the internet. You gonna be a victim or a suspect. So I just want to see you grab your shit, nigga, and, and own up to your shit. Take accountability, nigga. Like, bro, you don't sound like you're confident in your own channel. It sound like like you need cowboy to run your channel, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know what? Hey, it reminds me of uh do y'all all right? Let's let's go back to boys in the hood. Let's go back to the scene where Trey was in a car with Ricky. You see what I'm saying? And uh they was talking about why he uh why he ain't uh, had no why he a uh, virgin, right? And Trey was telling Ricky, like, uh, yeah, I lied to my pops the other day. You know what I'm saying? I told him I wasn't no virgin. Ricky, like, well, you ain't no virgin, are you? And uh Trey, like, uh, well, technically I haven't. And Ricky said, why not? <laughs> and uh Trey said, You really want to know the truth? He's like, Yeah, I at you. He's like, I was scared. That nigga Ricky started dying. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how you acting <laughs> like you acting like 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 trey you know what i'm saying telling ricky why he ain't had no vagina you see what i'm saying because this was oh this was supposed to be like a clean little spar bro this wasn't supposed to be nothing serious my nigga like i'm not trying to take no serious shit with you like i told you i literally fuck with your platform but it's i'm gonna keep it all the way finny with you bro it's kind of you know Crazy to hear you be in denial about another man who's giving you advice on your platform. You can you go to hey listen, this is this is something you need to understand. We're gonna go back to this, right? Uh do you think you could go to Cowboy's platform and tell him, hey, I ain't cool with that dude over there, bro? Don't have him on our platform. No, it's only one way. You can't go on his platform and tell him. What he can have on his channel that nigga ain't going for that but he came on your platform and told you yeah don't have them dudes on our platform i'm busting this shit down for you it doesn't take a rocket science homie he's he's nigga cowboy grabbing his nuts nigga saying yeah yo nigga your channel is our channel your podcast nigga is our podcast that's exactly what he's doing and you sitting up here defending that grab your motherfucking nuts nigga and be a man you understand what I'm saying, P. I fuck with you. Tighten up, gang. Tighten this shit up. I didn't come back on YouTube and see niggas act like this, my nigga. This is totally disrespectful to what we doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know, I'm a confident, aggressive ass nigga. So yeah, I might just come off a little bit different than you, but just going forward, this shit is just nah, bro. Tighten up, bro. This shit right here, unacceptable. Let's get it. This to, to, to grow and build? Of course. You need a team to make things grow. And when it comes down to your team voicing their opinion about stuff, you got to listen. Otherwise, you're not going to have a team. Now, you want me to be here by myself where I'm over there flipping on the camera? I don't even got Francis here with me. I'm here by myself flipping it off, flipping it off. You want me to do that? Okay, then I'm not going to ever listen to nothing uh, nobody ought to say. And, every, and, and I'm just going to really be over here running my own. Well... Hey, good. <laughs> my man, I was like, Ugh, did he just do that? <laughs> that nigga was throwing his neck. <laughs> All that crazy ass. That nigga was throwing his shit. Nigga, I would be by myself. My brother from another mother. Um, I'm, I think, yeah, this going to be the last one, bro. I don't, I don't want to go back and forth no more. This, it's not fun. It's not fun because, you know, I'm something the world ain't met yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm destined to, you know what I'm saying, for success and all of the greatest things that society will provide. Cause I'm a, I'm I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, gang, this shit crazy, bro. I hope I motivated you with this motherfucker though, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Real shit, because at the end of the day, bro, I was just having fun with you, bro. It ain't nothing serious, nothing personal, you know what I'm saying? Like program. Is that give you one, two, body? That show y'all know nothing about business. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'm speaking. You know what? I'm not gonna say y'all. I'm a, I'm talking to Nina Boy. Nina Boy, bro. That to me, man. I I, I lost a little. I, I thought you maybe understood business a little bit, man. 
But when I heard you say that, that statement's a lot of stuff you said, but that statement, I'm like, well, Nina boy don't get it. You still got some growth, brother. And I get it. A lot of people would take them to they get to, to their 40s and 50s and 60s to, to, to learn and understand business and how to be independent and, and an entrepreneur and really run their own thing. It takes a while. I get it. Oh, I get it. But right. I thought you knew more than what you do know when you said a statement like that, bro. No. You got a team? He can't even clarify what, what it I He just go right through it, guys. <laughs> Shout out to Paul P, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, son, you getting cooked. I'm cooking this nigga, bro. Let's go. You got to sit down and hear what your team got to say. But the final answer go through you. Do that mean that everybody's still going to be pushing with you after you make that decision? No, it don't. Because people may not like your decision from it. But nobody run anything here. Period. I get the last say so when it comes down to the content that go up on the Nothing to Some podcast. But I'm going to always listen to my team. And my team do got to say on what happens when it come down there because I'm going to listen to them and I'm going to see what's the best decision moving forward. So so they got, oh, okay, so they got a right to your platform, but you don't got a right or make a, to make a decision on his platform. We got you. We got you. Cowboy is your team. All right. We got you. We got you. All right, let's get it. Damn, bro, that nigga dick pulling like a motherfucker. Period. So let's go on and play the rest. And then and then I, I'll get a Same final with that. Actually did work together. You know, um, like I said, bro. Um, yeah, nigga, bust it down for me. And, and cowboy, nigga, since you want to keep screaming my name and 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 ain't listen, bro. Go on and twerk, go on and jump on that table over there and twerk for that nigga Paul. Nickelodeon was kid everything, but that marked one of the darkest chapters. These are three. So until I brought them together, was he happy that I did that interview? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But he knew that he was aware that Bosco said some stuff about him. That's why I was surprised. They were surprised as well. But I was surprised when I got them together. But they both agreed to it. BG Knockout said something about Cowboy. He didn't agree with Cowboy, you know, taking a stand or whatever. He said stuff. I interviewed him. The interview went up, right? You know? So when it come down to it. Did this nigga just, wait, 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 wait. Did this nigga just admit that everybody else that Cowboy beef with interview went up except Mars? Bro, you, hey, listen, cuz. We, hey, this the last one, bro. I'm 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 Koji. Um, right on, big dog. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm Koji, bro. I it ain't my ultimate goal, bro, was just to have fun with this shit, bro. I didn't really give a fuck about it. Like I said, man, I I was coming back to YouTube. I'm like any mini money mo, and then a knob just landed on Paul P. You see, what I'm saying it ain't nothing personal, man. It it just come with the game, bro. Um, you know, as you. Congrats! First of all, congratulations on your hundred k. I fuck with that. I fuck with straight up. I respect that. But um, don't ever tell nobody that you need somebody to make your podcast grow, bro. Like we won't respect you for that. You get no respect when you when you basing your platform around a team, nigga. Like you've got to file taxes on that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? That ain't nobody else got to do the paperwork on that channel. None of that shit. That's your channel. Own your channel. You beating behind the bush, bro. You throwing your rock and hiding your hand saying, it's my channel, but if my big homie want to tell me, don't put these dudes on our platform, yeah, he got a right to have an opinion. It's our platform, but you saying it's yours. So, yeah, man, just, just come harder, bro. Just come harder. Um, I think you might want to respond to this one, because this one right here, man, hey, a nigga was whooping on you like Uncle Willie's son, bro. All right. You watch this one, you like, fuck this nigga dropping key points. <laughs> but the way you was throwing your head and shit, oh, this nigga is mighty upset. But hey, man, uh, don't get in your feelings, bro. This is specifically YouTube. Do not take this shit down. Like, this is your first, you know, little spar. Cool. It was clean. Ain't nobody took it to no crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not. 
you know, you're not a game banger. I think you want to be a game banger because, you know, you kind of sound a little aggressive, passive aggressive over there. And I'm like, you know, all right, he's showing this little manhood. You know what I'm saying? You showing your manhood. All right. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> but nah, bro. Uh, good shit. Um, this is my last one, gang. You know what I'm saying? It was fun while it lasted. But uh, yeah, we're going to finish this shit out, bro. You did a lot of explaining about Cowboy. You never speak about yourself. Like, nigga, be a man. Man up, bro. Let's go. Y'all got to understand something. This have nothing to do with Cowboy telling me what to do because he don't like it. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of dudes that came up in here that he don't like. Yes, it, yes, it do, bro. Yes, it do. So yeah. that ain't that ain't what it is. Now, when it come down to it, if the if Cowboy come and say, hey, man, that ain't a good look because I'm on here and I don't really like it. He contradicted himself right there. Look, listen, hey, listen what he's saying, y'all. You know, so when it comes down to it, look, y'all gotta understand something. This, this has nothing to do with cowboy telling me what to do because he don't like it. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of dudes that came up in here it that has, he don't like. It has nothing to do with cowboy. Watch this. Watch so this. that ain't that ain't what it is. Now, when it comes down to it, if the if cowboy come and say, Hey man, that ain't a good look because I'm on here. And I don't really like it. I don't want to sit on a platform that continue to bring in individuals that I got real beef with and everything like that. That's different. I'm I don't have no real beef with Cowboy. Hey, let me make sure I'm clear, bro. This shit is the internet. I don't know nobody on this motherfucking internet. Cowboy is a senior citizen. What the fuck I look like having a real beef with a senior citizen? My nigga, I'm living my motherfucking La Vida Loca. You see what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't, bro, when I cut this camera on, nigga, I'm, I'm doing some upper echelon shit. I'm going to keep it Fendi with you. You see what I'm saying? I'm really doing some upper echelon shit. I don't got to brag about it or none of that. My nigga, at the end of the day, bro, it's, I don't have no, I don't have no beef with no nigga on the internet. You niggas better stop acting like this shit is real beef. Like, if you got real beef over somebody on the internet, bro, that shows you that just your own insecurity. That is your own insecurity, my nigga. It shouldn't be no way in hell because I put a pen out there. A pen is like assholes. Everybody got one, nigga. See what I'm saying? Bet no nigga on the internet be mad at Nina Boy for having his own opinion. I could give a fuck about what y'all say and what y'all think, nigga. Because I really, look, my ego that I have, I live that shit in real life. I ain't never been no hold hands and kick can type of nigga with anybody. You see what I'm saying? I always stay down for the crown. And everywhere I go, nigga, you better believe they're going to respect it because they not going to check it over here. Anywhere I go, they're going to respect it because I never let a nigga check it. And that's just some real game for you, bro. But get up off of Cowboy Dick, nigga. If that's your platform, bro, stop underhanding yourself, nigga. Show some value, bro. Like, you, you sitting up here contradicting. You just said that... It don't have nothing to do with Cowboy not wanting people to come on my show. And then you say, but if he don't want somebody up here while he's up here, come on, bro. This shit is crazy, gang. You got to grab your motherfucking nuts, nigga, and, and, and check that nigga. You see what I'm saying? Let, we want to know why did Cowboy say that's y'all platform, but you saying that is yours. Make up your mind, nigga. You see what I'm saying, nigga? You, you popping this shit like fish grease. I told you, bro. When you... Man, it's like peanuts to an elephant. You see what I'm saying? Like, you actually going at it with the big fish. Like, come on, bro. You got to really pop your shit and say what you mean and mean what you say. Straight up. Let's get it. I'm going to take that into consideration if that's what's being said. Now, was that the was that the only reason why this interview didn't go up? No, I'm going to go into it. But that ain't the only reason why. But I'm just saying. If we have that conversation, there's nothing wrong with that, especially when the individual is working here on the podcast. He have a segment here. He got a right to express how we feel about someone who now come on the platform that he's on that 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 may want to come on the day he's here. He I don't I don't I, I don't know how he feels inside when it comes down to Nina Boy. You know, now you asking me to become a therapist. <laughs> I'm not a therapist. <laughs> so I can't tell the dude I feel. All I know is that it was something that. He felt some type of way about, and he had every right to feel some type of way about it. 
but he. Oh, you said you can't tell him how to. Listen, you said you can't tell him how to feel, but he could tell you how he feel. So it, it, it don't go both ways, bro. It's basically he could do what he wants to you, but you can't do the same thing to him. That ain't no real friendship, bro. You getting pumped and you just don't see it. Let's get it. He didn't tell me what to do and how to do it. Yes, he did. That ain't how it happened. Yes, he You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. This nigga, man. You got a lot of y'all got this podcast twisted. You know, I would say this when it come down to Cowboy, though, and I want y'all to listen and listen clearly. Like I said earlier, Cowboy interviewed on Vlad. He interviewed on No Jumper and other platforms as well. Damn, look, y'all notice that's all he keeps saying is Cowboy, Cowboy, Cowboy. Damn. Cowboy, Cowboy. You got to realize Cowboy was on No Jumper. He was on Vlad. Stop dick pulling, sir. God damn, nigga, I ain't never seen no nigga, nigga, man, what? Man, nigga, hey, bruh, damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Look, bro, stop saying Cowboy's name, bro. Talk, man, this is your podcast. Stop talk. This is the second, third day or some shit. Stop talking about cowboy, bro. This shit crazy, gang. Let's get it. Well, right. He opened the door up and came over here, and it was before I really had anybody. This podcast wasn't even that big yet. I probably had about twenty thousand, if that, subscribers at that time. If that, maybe, maybe less. But I'm saying maybe I had that much. But when nobody was rocking with me, nobody is really feeling this podcast. Nobody was watching because I was here a year and almost a half before, no, about a year, at least a year before he came on. Nobody was really listening to my messages and it was great messages. I was teaching people how to get in the business. I was talking about a lot of different. Oh, damn, son. You don't, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You just told us that nobody was watching your channel until cowboy got there until cowboy got there yeah so you might as well say it's your channel it's not your channel bro it's not your channel it's not yours that's sad bro nobody was watching you until cowboy got there that's crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying no we don't know what nothing is some podcast nobody is really rocking you get what I'm saying? But when it came down to the big homie, he started rocking with your boy. The S offender. You know uh, what I'm saying? The S offender. He was rocking with your boy the way nobody else was rocking with your boy. No diddy. Straight up. And when somebody go to that level of showing that, hey, forget other podcasts, forget other platforms. We got, we building something right here. I'm good with coming to your platform and don't go to other platforms again. How am I not going to sit here and show some type of loyalty if someone have their feelings about something as well? How am I not going to sit here and now listen and hear the person out when they rock with me? I would not just look disloyal. I look like a mark. I mean, do, do people in the comments not agree that that alone, let it, not, not even going into an, a, another reason why I didn't post it. But that alone, would I not look like a mark or or some or, or some or some punk or something like that? That would make me look like a punk. Right? If I got somebody who sit next to me every other week that come on this platform, By choice. have some issues with someone who did an interview here, have something to say about it. my nigga. I'ma just hang this shit up, bro. I, I'm not even finna, I'm not finna do no whole shit like we did yesterday. This shit is by choice. He don't, let's he just coming up there telling you his schedule and popping up on your podcast. That's one thing, bro. But um, I'm going to leave it right here, bro. Um, I wish you the best of success. Um, keep popping it, Paul P. Um, well, how it go? I'm a champion. <laughs> Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. It's all good, bro. It was a dope little spar. It was clean, my nigga. Um, you can have this shit, gang. This shit was fun. Um, like I said, man, it's if you're gonna be a victim or a suspect, bro. 
Um, you got to decide which way you want to roll on this platform shit. Um, but just do it with integrity. Um, and, and you go go through shit on the internet. Every it's a price for that life on the internet. Nobody just is perfect on the internet. You go have crash outs, embarrassing moments, um, un, unbeatable debates. You go have all of that shit on here, bro. Like you got to understand it. it's it's controversial. So you can't win them all. See on here, everybody is predicated off of off of uh, uh, the look, the losses. You know, you could lose, get back up, get stronger, bro. So I want to see you get stronger. I want to see you um, have more conviction when you popping your shit on on your podcast. And um, that's the best advice I could give you, bro. On that note, my nigga, um, keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. So go on about your way. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that's it, man. We're gonna leave it right here. Uh shout out to everybody that pulled up, man, to come see me react to uh my partner Par P. Man, like I said, it ain't nothing personal. I fuck with your platform, bro. It's all good. Um, but you know, I'm a J. Cole, this motherfucker without an apology. <laughs> I'm just gonna slide back on some grown man shit. Cause um, you know, I came, I saw, I conquered. <laughs> But uh, yeah, gang, I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know you're fucking with me. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow, fool. Night, night, book.